How many hours of Stardew Valley have you put in? A few hundred? A few thousand? Have you spent it all on one farm or on a few? Well, if you spend most of it on one farm, you probably have an ultimate farm that is your pride and joy in Stardew Valley. And Le Chanton has an ultimate farm of herself. Her eventual goal is to decorate the entire map, and let's just say she's getting there. So let's go and take a look at it. Enjoy. Okay. Um, oh, nice flower pot. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Maybe let's start in the house. Welcome to my humble abode. Okay, um, so to the left here, we have the kitchen. Everybody has a kitchen. Um, what I've been trying to do is stock up the fridges so that I can craft uh, whichever recipe I want at any time. Mm -hmm. So even if you put um, the fridges down here, you're still able to access them here. Um, I'm nowhere near getting that done. So that's one of the projects I have on the go. Um, here you have your coffee. I have four of them because I had three friends that came onto my file and um, basically upgraded their houses so I could decorate them. Oh, okay. I was wondering how you had four. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you complete the, the quest, um, everybody gets the items, obviously. Yeah. So that's where the coffee comes from. Uh, the chicken statue on the table is kind of um, an OG thing from when I was playing Stardew multiplayer with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could sit at the table. Yeah. And so I used to find these chicken statues all over the farm, and I would just gift them to people. So they kind of became a thing. But yeah, I really like that item a lot. And the strawberry rugs you get from Penny. Um, so Penny's 14 heart event, she'll redecorate a part of your house. Mm -hmm. So I went with strawberry. You get these two cool little rugs here. You oh, also get, nice. uh, you get the strawberry decals that are up there. Oh, I didn't know these exist. Huh? Mm -hmm, they're very cool. I've never seen half and of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is completely vanilla. I've never modded this file at all. Mm -hmm. um, and these two little stars at the top also come from there. That's the only way you can get those items in the game so it's kind of cool you discover all kinds of things um on this particular file we're actually marrying everybody in the game uh -huh. so we have about three or four characters left we just married harvey so we're pretty much using all the characters for their items so i, um, I don't you. know what i don't know what harvey does but i know that you have like a cool hot air balloon cutscene at some point and I, I don't know what else so we'll find out once we get to 14 hertz um down here we have all of the legendary fish that you can catch and one junior version and then we have down here all the items you can get from the crane game well some of them so we have bobo classic bobo and then we have all of the junimos so we had a lot of fun with those yeah um, those <laughs> Have you played the crane game at all? I think I played it once. I haven't played it very much at all. I've gone to the movies like twice in my playtime, so not very much at all. <laughs> the other here. little thing that's different down here is the little squirrel. Do you know about the little squirrel? You yeah, if you squirrel. if you go to the left of the volcano and head out and fish, you can catch it. Um, so that's kind of what's going on. This is our living room. Mm -hmm. uh, we basically took these um, sunflower things and just threw them on with the leaves at the top. I yeah, want to make it look kind of nice. foresty. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, so this is our living room. Butterfly and then up hutch, here, I believe. Yeah, the butterfly hut. The the good old 200 batwing butterfly hut. We love those. Yeah. <laughs> They're fun. Um, and this is supposed to be some form of quarry room. I didn't really ever decide what this room was for, so it just kind of became a thing. I don't know. <laughs> well, it still looks nice. Better than my, my best room. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, my favorite color is red, so you can kind of tell just by looking at this bedroom kind of that that I like the color red. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is our little mini arcade. Oh yeah, we have the... got all the arcade games here. Yeah, got your so Joja. We got the jukebox. First we got Juno Mo Kart and Prairie King. The movie posters at the top, uh, those are all seasonal at the movie theater. So at times you can get certain items from the movie theater. So you have to go, It's I think it's over a two year rotation if I'm not mistaken. And then every season you can get a different movie poster. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah, the movie, the movie items are not as familiar or popular because a lot of people don't usually play that far into the game, but you can get some really cool stuff. Yeah, those are very nice photo or um, bleh, what do you call them? The the posters. <laughs> I completely yeah, the plan. posters. Yeah. Um, in the bedroom, you'll notice that the um, these wood panels have the hanging basket attached to them. Mm -hmm. You'll notice in the right room those same hanging baskets are there, yeah, but without the panel. Um, so if you pick up a whole panel, you'll see it's attached. The oh. only way to get the detached one is from uh, one of the spring seasons in the movie 
theater as well. So a nice little hidden item there. Oh, that's cool. In the basement, we have cheese. Cheese is the fastest way to make money, the goat cheese in particular. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have them down here. I've gone to the point where I'm too lazy to collect a lot of stuff on my file because there's just too much to do. So it would literally take me a whole day just to collect everything. Yeah, I mean, once you've point, got 222 million gold made, like <laughs> you've kind of gotten everything you needed uh, to yeah, buy at this much. point. Um, so that's the basement. We kind of made it into like a little cozy cellar of some sort. I don't know who's going to eat iridium cheese down here, but yeah, that's what's going will. on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and in this little chest, um, I actually threw the seasoning. You, like, you can open it. Oh, yeah. Um, because if you put it in the fridge, it'll just attach itself to literally everything. So. Oh, <laughs> be nice yeah, if there's a little like switch you could flip, like on the Junimo huts that turns harvesting on and off, uh, where it would choose whether cool. or not to use the seasoning. Um, so there's a lot going on on the farm. Uh, we can maybe do a little run around and then afterwards kind of go through. I just changed this section here, our little fish pond section, I guess. Oh, yeah, this looks. Oh, man. Um, you can do all kinds of things um, with designs on the farm. You just kind of play around and figure out what you like and don't like. That fish pond area, I think I've reworked like seven or eight times. And so this is the most recent version of it. Mm -hmm. um, the animals, I have so many that they're just eating everything, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, they're all pretty old. 60 months, 57 months. Oh my gosh, I haven't even paid attention to that. <laughs> Yeah, they're really um, old. Yeah, so I never, I don't think I've ever sold, maybe I sold a few animals on this farm just to have the variety, but I haven't really sold many of the I, the animals. They're all named after uh, people in my Twitch community um, when I was starting out, because this was the file that I would mainly play on. Yeah, that's I and did that a few times while streaming. <laughs> For yeah, it's donations fun. It's or whatever. fun. Um, this is my blue chicken and dino shed. <laughs> yeah, and you got the the snowman in here for some more company. Uh, company. <laughs> I have no idea why I put that in there. I think I just had it in my pocket and I wanted to get rid of it, so it's <laughs> kind of existing now. Yeah. Uh, the middle one is my golden chicken flex shed, I guess you can call it. We have golden chickens and we're lining up auto petters as we find them. Oh, so dang. this whole line I want to fill with auto petters. Well, that's that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty cool once it's finished. Yeah, it's fun to grind out. And then the last one is pretty much everything else. So we have chickens, we have ducks, we have bunnies. Um, yeah, they're all kind of hanging out. So obviously Ooh. with 1.5, the aquariums came out. Yeah, I can which, see. <laughs> which added a lot of uh, variety to it. This was one of the first uh, house designs that I did, um, apart from my own. And uh, obviously these ones look like washing machines. That's always the joke. Um, but with the flooring down here, what we've done is um, we put down that blue flooring and then we added the padding on top of it. So it kind of makes it look like water when it's mm. not. Yeah, it does. Is this um, um, every fish in the game or is it just random fish you out had on hand? Um, so they're all kind of sorted by color. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, I can kind of see that so it's a little bit of a rainbow sort of but not really i don't know um, we were kind of having some fun but they're kind of uh organized by color some of my favorite ones are the lava eels oh yeah those look I cool i just like how they funny. wiggle yeah they wiggle really funny <laughs> um and obviously a lot of people know that you can put uh, hats on the sea urchins so we played with that i didn't know what to do with my extra hats i keep finding in the desert in the skull caverns so we just threw them on sea urchins oh yeah they, um, they look funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're howdy you know howdy yeah um, definitely so one thing that is cool about the coral i don't know if you know this but if you pick up the the fish tank and you place it back down <clears throat> the coral will move it will also potentially change to something else so that's why you see different versions of the coral Oh, I, yeah, I've I've always just used fish tanks to like store large amounts of fish when my yeah. uh, chest get really clogged. But I, I didn't realize it changed the pattern. That's cool. There's like four or five different ones. So you get that um that first one that was in there, that pink. Yeah, different and then colors. You get kind of fun to play around and interact with. And you get a different um, result almost every single time. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be honest, the sellers in these houses are not interesting um, <laughs> because I'm reworking them. But uh, it's going to be cheese too. Uh, this middle one is a seasonal house. So we usually change it depending on the season so it's still christmas in here um like i'm sure it is in, in some people's homes but uh, we just kind of did a nice little decor with it yeah blue themed fish looks very cool christmasy christmas tree hiding away in the corner i should have given you a glow ring it's getting dark oh that's all right i can still see pretty good then it, cellar is just more cheese or what <laughs> i think so i think there's nothing going on the next oh there's nothing in this one it's Ooh, just empty. we don't talk about that <laughs> we, we'll just walk away it's fine exactly oh i can this see one, i can 
can see. Is this yeah. every hat in the game? Uh, we are missing two hats, one of which we can't actually get. It's a panda hat that was kind of an exclusive item. Oh yeah, to the certain Chinese translation, was it? Or something mm -hmm. like that? Something something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but I read about it. Yeah, I think, um, I, funnily enough, I, I heard about that too pretty recently. And sorry, I spaced out. Did you say you, do you or do you not have the, uh, the living hat? I don't have the living hat. That'll be a grind for another day. <laughs> yeah, that's just not worth it yet. If you come back up here, though, there's a couple of interesting things. So we decided to, um, you can't actually uh, display the paintings on anything other than the wall, but you can put them on these little poster thingies. So we tried to take all the different items we could find and throw them on there. Very cool. And at the top here, this is a night market year one. So day one, <coughs> two, three, they're all in order. Then you have year two and year three. So they're over a three year cycle. So if you miss one of the paintings, you're, you have to wait another uh, three years to get the next one. Oh, geez, not fun. <laughs> uh, some of these banners you can only get from festivals as well, like the egg festival one, for example. And I think this icy one right here. I didn't even and know the these Moonlight existed. Mm -hmm. They're new. I think they came out with 1.5. So they're items you can get uh, from the festivals. I think the only one you can get from the catalog is this cloud one here. Huh, interesting. Is it just mm -hmm. like you buy it from the shop? Yep. Yeah. The little huh. cart guy. No idea how um, I haven't and, noticed those before. And in the middle room on the back wall, uh, all of these ones are actually uh, things that you can fish up. Oh, so that's they're all Physics 101, paintings. I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yahoo. I love Physics 101. It's such a nice painting. Nice. It is nice. Yeah, my favorite is the wall basket. Oh, um, we got a restaurant is, down here. Yeah, initially it was supposed to be like, uh, I wanted to make it like some fancy, you know, like when you go to an art show and there's like these fancy hors d'oeuvres afterwards and like a little party. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go with that vibe. What ended up happening is it kind of turned into a Texas Red Lobster after I turned a sashimi into a, um, or sorry, after I turned a son of crimson fish into sashimi. So <laughs> I just kind of ran with it. We had fun. Well, it looks really good. Then down here, you got your mushroom empire. Your slime yeah. hutches, some sheds. Mind if I check out this shed? It's Go hidden for it. away. Ooh, every artifact or color coded? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, just color coded, uh, I see. This was one of the, the first shed designs that I did on this file, believe it or not. And uh, the baguette is kind of something with my channel. And then the chicken statues, again. I kind of yeah. wanted to make it look like a rich <laughs> person's place. And here I am with baguettes and chicken statues. So it is what it is. Everyone knows baguettes are the true, true high form of wealth. If you have those, you're you're doing pretty you're well. Set. <laughs> My, my French in there. Yeah. Uh, this we actually just remodeled. Um, so this is our, our slime hutch. We kind of were trying to match the purple theme. Uh, the one thing that I do not like that I'm going to be changing and I have to wait a year to do it mm -hmm. is uh, the fireplace that's back there. Oh, really? You don't like it? I yeah. think that looks pretty cool. It looks good, but I like the iridium fireplace better. It would match better with, with the design, I think. Mm -hmm. um, this works for now, but uh, I have to wait till the night market to buy that one. Some of the items are, are pretty exclusive to certain events, which kind of makes it fun when you're trying to design things because it, it challenges you, right? You you can't forget that item because you need it. Yeah, um, it's a lot It's a lot more to decorating than I bet a lot of people thought. Like it was just like open up the furn furniture catalog, but no, it's like you got to plan out, oh, forget this item, you're screwed for a year. That's very cool. Got um, here. This last one uh, is kind of become our drunken ostrich. Poor um, ostriches, they just get to live live among the cakes. The wine. <laughs> so I asked my community if they wanted me to do this and, and they, they said they wanted to. Basically I said yes or no and they all voted for it so it became a thing. But I don't know if you remember before the sheds could be upgraded. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the way that you could maximize your your kegs. Yeah, so this was I, prior I to the, the shed upgrade. <laughs> well that's funny. It looks it looks very funny just hearing the ostriches. <laughs> you got your furnace set up down here. Yeah, so they actually auto feed. So you can just... Oh, those are hoppers. Yeah. That's smart. I didn't even realize. Mm -hmm. Then you got your nice crop designed field. Got your Junimo yeah. huts. Junimo hut flex. Yeah. Big flex. Junimo's um, glitching. At some point, it. I was using them all and then. Um... It just became decor. Uh, this is our tea shed. Oh, very nice. Got, oh my gosh, almost 2,000 or 2,500 tea leaves. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in there. Um, so it's fun. Uh, those uh, tea sets on the table, I don't know if you heard about those as well. Oh, the okay. The Feast of the Winter Star. Yeah, funny story. So yesterday, actually, uh, I interviewed a guy who's trying to get 999 of every single item in the game. And he mm. mentioned the tea sets. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be super fun for him. <laughs> yeah, they're a grind for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I always hated the way that these pathings look. Um, and then I learned that you could just put them four together and it changed.
changed my life, basically. Yeah, it does it look, look so a lot cleaner. nicer than the default ones, because I've never liked those ones either. They're kind of just mm -hmm. early game, you make it and regret it. <laughs> um, and the last little thing we have is just this little heart thing in the middle, this heart design. Mm -hmm. So this was just something cool that I decided to try and I ended up liking it and we kept it. Oh my gosh, I'm inside the plant. Please, Can you get uh, out? Yeah. It's the chair trick all over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't show you these two sheds and inside the greenhouse. So this one is mostly just for design at this point. Yeah. Um, but we have our, our diamond crystallarium and then this one I'm a little embarrassed to show. Hold on. So this is, oh. I'm not even gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Wait, what the heck is this coincidence? No way. Wait, the um I mentioned earlier I interviewed the guy. He his his um statues of endless uh or the stupid, you know what I'm talking about, the <laughs> yellow ones were also on cakes. What the heck is that coincidence? <laughs> That's kinda <laughs> That's weird. Too funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the classic statues, I'll steal your prismatic shard. <laughs> Go for it. You need a galaxy sword or something, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and you got the shrine to the underpants, I respect that. It used to be Krobus, but I decided he looked better in my in my uh, slime hutch. Um, in the shed, I just filled it with preserved jars. Yes, I see you so, didn't do mushrooms, correct choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, mushrooms are good, but yeah. Decorating. You can do and some greenness. cool stuff with mushrooms. Um, and again, this is just aesthetics, it's not for profit but, yeah uh, we had some fun are you gonna put some grass on the edges that might look cool i don't know oh, what the torches i recently learned or a little bit ago i learned you could do that and it made my greenhouse look way better I think. yeah maybe i'll try it uh-huh and he fixed the bug that made them uh delete so that's really good oh that is good yeah Mm -hmm. So they were deleting from inside the, the hutches? Or? Yeah, when it turned to winter, I believe, because normal grass deletes, uh, the winter or the grass inside was also deleting for whatever reason. It's uh, so tempting to just oh, collect everything, right? Yeah, seriously, it's just sitting there. <laughs> um, so that's it for the farm. I decorated pretty much every inch of the map. Well, we're still working at it, but um, we did a couple of cool things, so I don't know. Oh, the, the just... red, or what's from Alice in Wonderland? The yellow brick or red brick? I can't remember now. Yellow mm, brick road? Follow the yellow brick <laughs> things are actually really annoying to make because they require a lot of clay but now i know how to clay farm so that changes everything oh yeah <laughs> i got the classic filled um filled optimal, bus shed area keg <laughs> placement yeah we did somewhere to put them yeah oh there we go i was stuck i have a hat yay wait where'd you get a hat <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Because you got the copper pan. Yep. Um, I forgot diamonds. to fill these, but I what will fill them. What are these supposed to be? Diamonds or? Uh, probably more diamonds. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided. Initially, this entire area was covered in, in maple trees because I'm Canadian. And oh, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> So we just had a maple tree farm. That's funny. Um, I don't think there's anything else going on in this area, though. It's really just, we just did this design here. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, it would be nice if you could break the bushes up here like you can um, on the forest farm. Because mm -hmm. they, they really stick out, I know. Yeah. Then Linus's oh. area is untouched. Respectful. Not yet. I have to <laughs> oh, not yet. a master plan for him. No, we're going to cover every inch of the map. We're, we just haven't done it yet. Mm, Getting that I see. Lead. Got some trees. Oh. Dang, that looks so nice. Wow, I um, love so, the rings. So this will also be another uh, project that we're kind of working on, but we haven't started yet. And we're mm -hmm. going to collect every uh, weapon and the goal we're going to try to. And so I can put more down here. I'm just basically trying to keep them out of NPC pathing. But if they are in NPC pathing, we can just add a decoration in front of it and it won't destroy anything. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. It's a little cheat. I actually um, showed a couple of people who were speedrunning. So I was like, no, no, you can put kegs outside the farm. You're just going to need to know where people walk. Yeah, the classic pattern. I remember over here was cool. Yeah, this is our uh, Junimo cult wedding. <laughs> yeah, Junimo cult, that was it. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so we got our Wombus officiating and security detail. We've got our dance floor. Um, oh, it's so there's the awesome. cake cutting. Um, <laughs> I just recently learned uh, you can pick up one of this, uh, one of the decor things and you see how those handles are showing up right now? Mm -hmm. If you do that, it switches it around oh. so they don't show up. Um, and then we have the bar over here. You can't actually see who's uh, who's the bartender, but it's a bunny. And I guess let's check out uh, town now. I'm excited to see the town. I is is your decorating kind of limited here. there because of NPCs pathing or, or what? Uh, you'll see. Um, oh man, you really like this path, eh? Yeah, I kind of went through a phase. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, um, this has kind of gone destroyed a little bit. Keep in mind, if you do decorate there, uh, season after season, it, it may deteriorate. So you have to kind of upkeep it. 
Mm -hmm. And there's not really anything else going on in this area right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm excited to see the sewers if we... Oh, wait, this looks sexy. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so this one uh, took a lot of trial and error because a lot of my stuff got destroyed as I was doing it because I didn't know where the NPCs were actually walking. Yeah, hmm, interesting. Then I well, let's check out the sewers in the last like hour quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a TV for Krobus. Dang, you've given him a very nice house. He's got a throne. Yeah, you had to you had to make up for for sending him back to his sewer. He's got to he's got to be bougie, you know. Yeah, definitely. Got a nice trail of plants. Beautiful. And oh, no paths. <laughs> no, we're not here yet. So initially I left this bear because I was going to try hunting for the living head and I wanted as much fiber chance as I could. Yeah. But I think I'm just going to grind it out in the mines probably. Yeah, the mine seems like the best strategy from what I've understood. Mhm. Mm and I, or we're not gonna have time to check out the secret woods. We'll just head there tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go tomorrow. I think I've seen this before on stream. If I remember correctly, it was a cafe. I think. Yep. So welcome to the secret forest cafe. Oh. Initially, I just had it set up like this, um, but you can throw tables on top, which is kind of cool. Oh, dang! It's, that must not be intentional. <laughs> Probably not, but it works. Exactly. We just go with it. And dang, this guy's, his lonely life is gone. He owns a thriving business. Good for right? him. Right? I felt bad about just leaving him alone in the forest. It was kind of sad. Mm-hmm, definitely. We just did a little seating area down here. Very nice. And then down here, this is like the exclusive uh, cafe club, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The cool people club. The cool people come here. Exactly. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Where'd I go? I'll just go this way. It's fine. Made it my stilt. Uh, did you want to go to Ginger Island or the desert or? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's head to there. Oh, sorry. I kind of, <laughs> that no was worries. rude. <laughs> I'll just run home. <laughs> Dang, just ditching me. How could you? I know. So cool. Um, there is a teleport though at the entrance. Oh, my strawberries grew. All right, let's uh, do Ginger Island first, I guess. Cool. Hopefully it's not raining. So welcome, welcome to Ginger Island. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, got the paths again. Yeah, so this one was a new path that I tried. I really like it. Looks um, great. I haven't done anything to the right yet, mm -hmm. but eventually we'll do something. Have you touched the uh, Pirate's Cove or? Nope, not at all. Um, but we are going to make it into level three of Junimo Kart. <laughs> Oh, it, which one remind me? Is that slime or whale? Whale. <laughs> whale. Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> Gotta make a shrine to Bertha. Yeah. Um, we just have your standard Star ancient fruit, fruit, ancient and... fruit fields. Got yeah. some seed makers set up. Very nice. Down here we did a restaurant. More wine. Gotta source the restaurant, of course. Got some gar guards on it. Interesting. Very nice. Yeah, everything. My, kind of my goal is for one thing to flow through the other, which is a really bad example because we just got stuck behind a barrier. But <laughs> and then nice i like this design because like you have it around i don't know why this design is very satisfying to me like mm -hmm. um where how you have the chairs placed because it kind of like works with the puzzle pieces if that makes any sense <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it kind of does i never really thought of it like that that was supposed to be your junimo play part um this is level one of junimo card oh <laughs> so <laughs> yeah thing or the scythe i never fixed it and i have to put a coin back there oh the gold coins i see oh, okay mm -hmm. that's cool nice well this is super good and then if you go up we're gonna get level five. Oh. so this here. is the entrance to uh the slime level in junimo Kart. oh geez yeah so we even have the the, the real life slimes i don't want you to die hold on there we go, <laughs> ah fine. that hammer combo never gets old mm -hmm. oh i'm destroying a little bit of your grass sorry about that oh you're fine you're fine i barely even noticed so same thing we have the fruit in the same order the coins in between yeah, that's so goofy creative. and having some fun i hadn't even thought about that that's awesome and then we should go into our island home i think it's very cozy <laughs> oh yeah this is amazing wow yeah you got more fish in here this is super good like the i like those bookshelves a lot over there yeah they they fit well it's really hard to make the mahogany furniture work but mm -hmm. it works on the island i feel yeah it definitely does i don't i don't know what to describe like tiki would that be the right word i don't know something kind of like that Maybe. i don't know it's it's islandy it works exactly <laughs> <laughs> you got stuff up here so the pathing keeps going where are my lights? I thought I had more lights than that. I need to place more of these. Mm -hmm. As I'm running through this with you, I'm noticing things I need to tweak. <laughs> um, to the left here, we did um, an archaeology museum, actually. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this. Yes. I really like these just periodic, um, like, circles of paths you've been doing. Those look super cool. Thanks. Uh, once uh, it, I like it, somebody on stream had suggested that, and once I started doing it, it kind of became a part of my aesthetic when I'm designing. Um, and can you guess what level this is? In Junimo Kart. Uh, whatchamacallit? I, I'm, I'm genuinely blanking. I was about to say, um, 
Or, uh, slime? No, you've already no, done it's, slime. It's the volcano. Volcano. Oh, so, oh my gosh, I'm stupid. <laughs> it's a red hot roller coaster. Yeah. The red. That's pretty obvious now in hindsight. <laughs> um, I haven't done anything in here, but the reason I haven't done anything in here is because uh, any decorial pit here will despawn. Yeah, I remember However, the flower pot testing, I believe. Yeah, the flower pot. Um, but these ones uh, stay. I could technically fill this whole area, but I wanted to keep the the area accessible. Yeah, because in case you got to enchant like your your fiftieth spare backup tool, just in case you leave it in a chest somewhere. J just in case, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. So that's it for ginger. Mm -hmm. Um, so those crystallariums you saw that were in the desert were actually at the top. I just moved them, mm -hmm. um, but they were here. We're actually gonna turn this into a, a like a farm of Omni Geode. Remind um, me what these are again. Um, so if you put an Omni Geode in it, it'll generate oh. a gem. Geode crusher. Okay. Actually, wait. Hold on. I'll come back. Okay. Yeah, I've always been a little oh, bit oh, dismissive of these. <laughs> Coal you from here? I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. Bombs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just just blow it all up. It's exactly. fine. Exactly. Yeah, that's a better okay. solution. You using that prismatic shard? No? Oh, I should have. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Let's grab my prismatic or my galaxy sword really quickly. Oh, nice. And then a bunch of